Well, what I'd like to do before going into the games and things, I'd like to go into building a Z-score folder, showing what the Z-score folder looks like on the training screen, and then showing the games as they behave with the Z-score stuff. Okay? To do that, we're going to stop this training session. We're going to create a new folder. I'm going to go folder selections. I'm going to go create new folder. I'm going to go bill Z. Um, let's go bill Z and the same thing 415. Okay, use name for ID. I hit OK. Hit OK. What I'm going to grab here is we're going to start with the basic. The Z score using percent Z OK. All right. I highlight it. Now here's the key here. If you do not have Z scores on the computer that you're currently using, simply watch the screen. What? Let me do it. Because you're going to get to a point that the software is going to say, eh, sorry, you need an A key and a B key and you don't have it. So tough luck. Okay. So watch what I'm doing instead of running. And I'd encourage everybody to simply watch me the first time through anyways. Okay. Yes, Gwen? I have percent OK, new, and minus <coughs> one. Go. Well, right. if you scroll all the way down, you'll have the one I'm looking at. OK. Everybody with me? Where it says for, uh, four channel, that's where you put in the B key if you have it. What? Yeah, no. There'll be a spot you won't miss it, I promise you, where the B key will go. The screen will pop up and it will request it and it'll have 16 empty spaces to put right, it in. That's what it says, security key B. Okay, well then there you go. Yep. Okay. So I hit OK. And then I've put Z% percent OK in the folder. And I put viewer change settings. Now we're going to make some changes to this because it's, it's a pre-built protocol, but there's some things I want to modify. First off, data channels. Number of channels, I want four. Artifact rejection threshold, 90. Notch filters, default them off. Now, Z-score protocol. What's the most important thing we have to do? and sites and eye condition okay what's the one that's most commonly forgot eye condition all of the time I'll get a call from a clinician that's done 10 sessions on z-score they're not getting the expected benefits they don't know what's wrong we look at the protocol I see eyes closed databases selected I ask them what type of training they're doing they say eyes open and I say well it's probably not gonna work very well they make a change, call me back three, four sessions later, and okay, it's working like it's supposed to. That is not a question for me to ask. If you think that's bad, I've had a client, unfortunately, and, and it happens. And we've made some changes in the software to help it not happen. But I, and I shouldn't say one, I've had many clients do one, two, ten sessions and it be on simulation the whole time. Okay? So it can happen. We've now, the newer software, the cool thing is, is that it says right across the top, simulations running. So we've done everything we can to kind of stop that. But at, I will, in, in everyone's defense that that's happened to, the early software, if you missed the box at the beginning that said simulations running, if you were real fast on the trigger and you had your notch filters defaulted on, it could be easy to be tricked. If you're not looking at the waveforms, okay. If you if you you're not a trained enough eye to look at the waveforms, so. But now it says it on top of the training screen at all times. That it's a simulation, so hopefully that won't happen again. And I don't know if they refund it either. <laughs> all right. So. We have the sites. Have an age. We're gonna go eyes open. Hit OK. 
hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and go down to um, session control. I'm going to leave the baseline off only for this presentation purpose. Normally I'd have one, but I don't want to sit there for a minute and us not be able to see anything happening. So I'm going to just go do that. 60 second run length, 40 runs. Here we'll even bump this. We'll go 120. So we have a nice long session. It's going to be on simulation. I'm going to hit OK. OK. We notice under feedback control, selected on events. So guess what we have to look at next? event wizard okay so we made all our changes we needed to up here we don't have any goes selected we don't have any stops selected auto thresholding is on or off what is it off with z scores okay because it's not power based i mean there is a power component to it but it's not your goes and stops okay so we go down there and we click our buddy the event wizard and everybody quivers in their shoes. Go ahead. Um, if we were putting in a standard Z-score uh, program, wh why do we have to make all these changes? Would, would we have to manually go in and make all these changes? Well, you have to tell it how old your client is. Right, you have to tell it the site you're going at. Right. You have to tell it how long you want the session to be. So what changes are we talking about that we okay, wouldn't like have to do? Filters. The artifact rejection threshold, the only reason I do that is, again, I want to see those two lines. Okay. If you don't want to see the two lines, you're not going to use it. You don't have to touch don't it. Don't sweat it. And the notch filters? The notch filters, again, I turn them off right. because we don't want to find out we're training garbage. Right. Okay. Garbage I in, garbage you, out. I see what you're saying. Now, these are the things we've, that we've since learned. And, right. And this is just good, good practice. I think so. Yeah. Okay. But who am I? I race motorcycles for a living. Huh? Okay, so event wizard, 16 events could have 16 different things happening in one protocol. Is that going to be very common? Eh, probably not. But you have the capability to do some really wild, crazy protocols if you think you need that. Okay, so let's look at what this Z% percent OK is actually doing. First off, you notice that you didn't have to do this. It was already pre-built for you, but it's use equation. That just scares somebody right there, so you put that word in there, equation. Okay? But x equals percent z ok parentheses user. Okay? Now, user threshold is what that represents. Now, you can't think about it and go, oh, God, the user band was set from 35 to 40. Doesn't matter. All we're doing is we're reaching and stealing basically the user threshold okay because that user threshold is going to become the plus or minus standard deviation window in our z-score protocol that happens to be part of our thresholding mechanism for z-scores okay yeah I chose the z-score protocol as I built my folder I went create new folder. I built a new one. I put bill Z score 314 or, or um, 415. Then on the second OK, my settings window popped up. I scrolled to the bottom and hit Z percent OK. And this all came in pre built for me. OK? Everybody with me so far? Yeah. 